nurse may need his. To the last day I made him mine. Yes. And we set it down in numbers on the abacus. And days becomes two thousand days. One, when we were both in love, only one, one day, out of a thousand days. In the year 1534, King Henry VIII broke from the Catholic Church in order to divorce his first wife. She'd been unable to produce a male heir. Henry set his affections instead on Anne Boleyn, who became his second wife. But when she also could not bear a son, he wished to annul their marriage. Listen to the true, bitter story of Anne Boleyn, where we learn that real love is always sacrificial. Anne of a Thousand Days by Maxwell Anderson, copyright 1948. Do I come too soon? Are you to speak? No, Henry. I'm glad to see you. I won't stay long nor say much. I just wanted to see the two of you. My queen and, and my prince. My son. My lord. Little daughter, and her name's to be Elizabeth. Why didn't no one tell me? Who are afraid of you, my lord? Why, girl? Don't look so down. Won't you kiss her? Your one, Henry. Kiss her for me. Norfolk, you said there was a sheaf for papers to sign? They're on your desk, my lord. Very well. Norfolk, speak to her. God keep all here. You're on slippery ground. The common folk are for having the old queen back. And the king, the king desires yet a new one. I know he fancies Jane Seymour. My dear, do you think you could bring yourself to live quietly somewhere? And all your marriage and not claim your rights here further? It's come to that then. What would it mean for Elizabeth? I'd be a mistress. A discarded mistress with a disinherited child? No. He has a warrant for your arrest. My arrest? On what ground could I be arrested? I am the queen, why, what for? Let me see your warrant, if you will. Untrue. It's beyond non 
nonsense, girl, but here it is. But the child, if you were to leave her with your women, you will be furnished with attendance at the tower. At the tower? They come for you now. You go to the tower. I was his. He had ceased to love me. This many. And this. Henry. Why do you come? Because I wanted to know. Because I wanted to know! Did you say truly you were glad of me here? I won't say it again. But I did say it. And it was true. Then let's do all this gently, Nan. Go quietly. Sign the nullification. Let our marriage die. King and Queen, man and wife together. I keep that. Take it from me as best you can. You do leave no choice. I leave you a daughter, Elizabeth. I bring no wife. Could you do it to me? Yes. Yes, if you stood in my way defiantly. As you do! Henry, you said on that one day when, when I loved you and you loved me, you, you said that you would change, would seek justice, would be such a king as men hoped you'd be when you came to the throne. It's not too late. Only if you say, let her be cut and torn and buried, then the king, the great king you might have been, would have died in you. She, she is guilty. Let her die, you! Take her to her execution! Something. 
anything to say, if I can say it. With the accent told me. <gasps> you me, Henry. My death makes Elizabeth your rightful heir. Become your greatest monarch! <gasps>